my wife was interested in uh, viewing the Amazon area, so we um, uh, looked at one of the National Geographic Lindblad expeditions and uh, took a direct flight to Lima, Peru to uh, a connect with a tour group that was headed to Iquitos, Peru on the Amazon. And we uh, then were able to pick up a uh, bus to take us to the landing for getting on board the craft that we needed. the only roadway we have in Iquitos that connects Iquitos with Nauta. It's about uh, 94 kilometers, that's all. No more roadway. Yes. So, in uh, about an hour and a half more we'll be there. We get on the Delphi and then we'll be navigating along the uh, Marañu River and later to the Ucayali River. We're gonna visit these two rivers. Okay? When the Ucayali joins Marañu, makes a big triangular. This is one of the largest protected area we have in the country. Okay, this is the uh, reserve called Pacaya Samiria National Reserve. So we're gonna visit this place during this trip. Okay? Well, and uh, in here we have some water. And, we, and a lot of this land we're gonna cover the streets, this lower areas, it's already flooded. It's already covered with water, villages and you know, these are the motorcycles. We have many of these motorcycles here. You can see this, this three-wheel motorcycle. We have, we call this motor cars or, or motor taxis. Got a board. Also, 
removing our luggage. As you can see here, it was kind of uh, awkward, but they managed. And all the people in this area seem to manage quite well with their uh, watercraft. Here comes our luggage. Very common at this time of the year, but it's very spiny, but very bossy. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Lots of bossy. Okay, we gotta go. Always searching for wildlife, going for a tree, and all this stuff, alright? Thank you very much. Now we're going to the Some of the creatures we got to see were things like the toucan, uh, but of course they are at quite a distance and it's a little awkward uh, photographing a lot of these particular uh, creatures. Here we have a particular hawk that uh, we happen to see at a great distance and uh, of course there were a lot of these iguanas and they're nicely colored as far as the head is concerned and uh, they uh, are quite prolific. We see them along the uh, creek beds and even in a high up into the trees as we uh, motor through the uh, There are even some of these, what they call owl monkeys, and they're very hard to photograph also. Yeah, there was no hammer. Oh. What we what we did, we used to tie it up with this type of strings. Mm -hmm. Very the, uh, very strong. Pathway mm -hmm. taking us into one of the hike areas. In here in the Amazon, local people they have a medical uh, purpose. They get a medical purpose out of this train. So people in the Amazon it always uh, many medicine they are re they have relationship to the aphrodisiac stuff. Yeah, and they use for aphrodisiac uh, One of the uh, uh, termites. Yes. They don't like to be in the open areas because in the open area means more life and more heat and they have very 
tender, very soft body, very almost invisible skin. Vera. Therefore, all maybe you have seen some stuff in in the in the dining area, like little animals made out of with the fibers of this pantry. And the good news is that they are. Mm. Ah. Looks like a frog. Yes. It is a frog. This it is, is a poison or dark frog. Therefore, I say if some some of the very tiny frogs that are used for poison dart. What? Other kind. Peacock tree. Mm. Name of that tree. Well, yes, sir. Uh, if you want first, you can take pictures. Yeah. Mm. What's what's the tree called? Oh, it's a tree. This is our first experience to have the higher temperatures and high humidity together. And it was kind of an exhausting uh, experience. The mon monk saki monkeys were in one area. They were kind of unique. There was a cormorant that was drying its wings. A uh, few more of the um, monk sakis. They were quite far away and it was difficult again to uh, photograph them. We encountered another group of monkeys. One of many three toads sloths that we did see along the riverbanks. Like I said, very common along the river. Most of them are yellow bellies. The messengers. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 First mess, Oreo candles are very related to Oreos. Oreos? Yeah, the Oreo family. Related to Oreos. Remember we saw some? Yeah, I remember the gold one. Yeah. the water level but many times the villagers had to evacuate the lowlands to uh, then keep other areas to live for the rainy season here we're coming into uh, our ship again which was anchored the edge of the uh, Oka Alley River, which is one of the tributaries for the Amazon. So we spent most of our time uh, adjacent to a special reserve that we do on the side. The ship was basically uh, available for up to uh, about 30 people. Yeah. 
noticed uh, a lot of uh, termite nests that were part of the tree and they were above the water line in most cases. We also saw these uh, Amazon herons, uh, quite a few different items like that. Uh, here was a jacara which was very much into the vegetation or the water hyacinth areas that uh, we followed. We also saw a lot of these long-nosed bats that were uh, clinging to the trees. Uh, we saw a, a really a weird bird called the Watson, sort of. Uh, a, uh, then, of course, there were a few uh, tarantulas that would, you know, cling to overhead vines and so forth. So you had to watch what you were doing. And uh, of course, there was an area where the uh, huge water lilies were uh, seen.